welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another retro redo because I am loving doing them so much. They are so freaking fun. Ah, it's tickling me. Blech, I felt weird. <laughs> I'm loving doing these where I take an old magazine ad and I turn myself into one of the pages. Today we're going back to the Life magazine from 1959 that I did in the last one. If you didn't see that, go give it a watch because it was really fun. But I'm having so much fun doing these, you guys. I really want to get a uh, Vogue from back in the day or some sort of fashion magazine because I feel like the makeup would be a little bit more involved with those types. These ones are very like housewife look, you know? This is going to be the look. So as you can see, she has a pretty decently thick looking eyeliner and we have to find this lip color. It's almost like orange. Yeah. What we'll probably do is just keep my hair the way my hair is and just pull it up like that and fix my bangs to be a little bit more like hers. I'm going to go ahead and get started, do the makeup first, and then I'm going to show you her nose is so cute. I am so distracted by how cute her little butt nose is. I also think she kind of looks like Bjork. Does anybody else see that? And he's very handsome. I'm just now noticing the people. He looks like George Clooney. I'm gonna go ahead and start the makeup so that we can reveal the exciting thing. If you can guess, take a guess, pause right now and guess in the comments what the exciting product is that I have to, uh, make myself look like this ad. Okay, the first thing that I noticed is that her skin is really dewy and healthy and just glowing. So we wanna get the glowiest skin we can find. Whenever I want a really, really glowy base, I'll usually start layering up the products. I'm gonna do some of the Marc Jacobs little sample of a highlight here. And I'm also gonna add some of the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops because I feel like this really adds a shine to the cheek and will look really pretty under this. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. I just got this recently and I really like it. And I feel like the the finish of this is very doll skin beautiful. So I think it would be very similar to the finish of her skin. blush. I've been really into this one lately and I'm just, I'm into spring blush colors already. The Complex Culture Good Glow Blush Duo and I'm going to take this really pink one here. Ooh, that's pink. Oh, and actually that's perfect because it's giving my cheek the glow that it needed because there's like a opaly, opalescent undertone to this blush. So it's already adding that shine to my cheek that I was wanting anyway. Definitely want to do a little bit of contouring on here. It almost kind of goes in right here to add a shadow behind the nostril. So I'm just going to copy that and see if I can try to mimic her nose shape. But yeah, I'm just like behind here giving it a shadow so that it makes this part look more flared. All right, now I'm just taking a liner. I have this one size felt tip liner. I already started doing this side and I'm struggling so hard to do it on camera because I need both my hands and I'm gonna face that way to finish the other side. But I just wanted to show you. So the wing, she doesn't really have a very prominent wing. It's just a flick. So I'm just gonna keep it simple with that. And I'm gonna do a little under eye. She has a black line under her eye. It's very much of that time. <laughs> I don't love this look on me. It makes me look a little bit skeletal, like a skeleton. I don't know, I don't know. It wasn't to look like eyeliner. It was meant to look like a thick lash line. So I'm gonna smudge it out just a little. 
All right, so mascara. I've just got the Pura Nada mascara that is available for purchase in my store. I don't know why people aren't running to grab this mascara. It's the best. If you like a really like buildable, thick, natural mascara, it's so good. And now for the fun part, the lipstick. This is the packaging for the lipstick. I wanna get her open and see what it looks like. Now, I did not get a corally color lipstick. They didn't really have one. So I'm gonna just show you the colors. I haven't even opened this yet, so I actually don't even know what the lip colors look like. <laughs> Here are the lipsticks definitely think this one would be the best prop. <laughs> but all, these are all the colors. Let's do a swatch of each one. This one looks pretty dark. These are really just a novelty. I don't think I'm going to have an interest in wearing them. This actually is a really pretty color. <laughs> Let me show you the swatches. This is the one that I just swatched. Can you see the swatches? Okay, it actually has a really nice berry smell to it. <laughs> Why is it so pretty? I did not think I was gonna like this. It was $5 for this whole thing, you guys. It was so horrible. So to make this less of a matte finish and more of a satin, I'm just gonna go in with a balm over top. This is the Fresh Sugar Peach and see if I can give it a little bit of a shine. The finish is just gonna look more like hers if it's just a little bit softer. So I'm gonna do the hair now. I'm gonna go downstairs actually and top up my coffee and do the hair off camera just because all it's gonna be is just curling the bang a little bit and then putting my hair above. Okay, I kind of love the hair. <laughs> Let me show you my cute bun. Should I start wearing my hair in a bun more? This is adorable. <laughs> I don't feel like my lipstick looks like hers and it's kind of driving me crazy because I want to be a little bit more accurate to the photo. It just, it's too dark. Hers is really subtle. And I remembered that I have this YSL lipstick in the color 81 and I think this would be dead on to the one that she's wearing. It's more of a balmy lip, it's more of a satin sheen and it's an orangey brown, just like she has on. So let's switch out the lip. Now I had a feeling that that was going to stain just because it was so matte. So I'm going to go over it with my foundation brush. Neutralize the lip again so that this goes on true to color. Let's see if this is close. It's so perfect. That is exactly the same type of lipstick she has on. Nice. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Now let's pick out the outfit. Color-wise and the look of a vintage dress, what do we think about the sailor dress? It would read 50s and I think it would look cute with the hair. This one I actually got in Portland. I think the color would be similar to what she has. It also has a nice collar to it. I think that would be uh, helpful to looking a bit like her style. It's a little bit different and unique. So I don't know that it will look very 1950s. This one is almost exactly the same color. She has this teal blue kind of tone to her outfit. So this is the most similar, I guess you could say, to the color that she's wearing. This is a vintage Liz Claiborne silk dress. Unfortunately, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like this is too 80s. Okay, well, it's not very 50s looking, but I actually thought that this looked the most like it with even the collar. So I thought, what if I just wore this top underneath it and then put on pearls and pearl earrings. I was looking for an undershirt that I could wear that would have more of that shape, but I don't have anything blue. I just have undershirts like this. So at least we got the pearls and the earrings and the Siggy. <laughs> nice. Hey Johnny, got a light? <laughs> The backdrop doesn't matter because that all gets taken out, but I was trying to figure out where they are and she's got her arm back 
almost like they're sitting in a booth at a diner. There's what looks to be coffee and creamer and a satin, lovely satin curtain in the background. So I think she's doing this where she's got her arm up on the back so I can just mimic it because everything's just gonna get taken out anyway. Make sure my lighting is good. Head tilted, Siggy lipstick, and I think we're golden. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the skin and the highlight a lot in this lighting, and the bangs are so cute. Like, this hair is really cute. I definitely look like a mom, like a 1950s Leave mother. Darling, beaver. when will you be home from work this evening? I just wanna make sure I've got the roast on. All right, so this is the fun part. This is where I take the magazine ad, scan it into my computer, and get it edited so that I can put myself in the photo. So let's get that going. All right, the results are in. I got the photo, everything is edited. Here is the grand reveal. I will say I colored this shirt blue so that it looked more like the photo. The white was really throwing it off for me. And plus you couldn't see the cigarette. So I made it blue so that you can see the lipstick. He is very tan and she's not. So I actually look more the, the tone that she is and I'm even, I edited myself a little bit more pale than I actually am, so I think I look more tan in real life. That is everything. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and give it a thumbs up. See you guys on the next video. Bye.